Well, somebody's gonna give me trouble for this, and I really do plan to sell a K2 soon, but I couldn't pass this one up, and hopefully we can get into it quickly so somebody won't tell me to get down to business. So we'll get in here as quickly as we can, get it out, get it powered up, and then um, I think we'll have to think about which K2 leaves, and I think it's the one that I affectionately called Kurt that has no serial number and uh, very few options. Well, this is cool. So I think we have, uh, oh yeah, we have a power cord, I think, of sorts. And a lot of bubble wrap, that's good. Must have been a whole roll. Maybe, maybe two. All right, we're almost in, so no complaining here. more tape. Yeah, it'll be rough. Okay, there's the manual down there and a mic. That's good. More bubble wrap. Many, many turns. I think this one would have passed the egg off the building test. All right, we got a radio. We'll get the box off the bench. We'll get out the cords. We'll hook it up as quickly as possible, and I'll tell you what we got. So, we got, let's see if we can get driven down in here. All right, we've got serial number 3226 with a tuner, with the uh, receive antenna option, with no IO, no transverter, and uh, it had a mic, so we'll have to assume it has the sideband adapter. But first we'll power it up, and then we'll see what else we can find. No mistake here, the cover is on the original antenna jack. I have to use either antenna one or antenna two. Gotta switch in the right antenna. We gotta hit the power button. Put down the bale. We're a little dusty. Yeah, let's see, we'll speed that up a little bit. And I still have something like an S6 noise level here. So if we don't hear anything, I can't be too upset. We should hear a carrier at 40 maybe. Okay, so I guess we're sensitive enough. Let's we'll see if the two filters work on sideband. We'll go to CW. Filters work there. That's good. Not sure if that's really 150. Sounds like it could use an alignment maybe. But I think it's in pretty good shape. Now let's see if we can hook up the paddle. See what we can find here. Something like that, I think. And let's see, we'll get on the dummy load. Oh, we were on the dummy load. All right, so now I feel much better. Switching in a 40 meter antenna. Let's see what we get before we try to transmit. Seems a little more lively. Not much going on at 11.45 at night on the coast. level is officially too high to hear anything useful. We'll have to take it out on a portable trip here soon and see. All right, we'll go back to the dummy load and then we will see what happens here with, let's see, power level maybe lower and 
speed down to maybe something I could key. And it seems to be doing what we expect. So let's set that to five. And the watt meter says more like uh, three or four, but that's okay, I guess. Let's see what happens on a different band. There's on 30. Not sure exactly how we got there. Get down here into the band here soon. And that's on the dummy load. Let's see what we got really. That's on a 20 and 30 meter antenna. Not much on 30 meters. But, but it's not dead. Back to the dummy load. Let's see what happens here. That's a little more lively, closer to, close to four or five, maybe closer to four. So I think it does need a, an alignment, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I, I do want to look inside, so I'll do that really quick. And then I'll give you back your YouTube scrolling. So let's see what we find here. I think this fits. That does fit. Let's see. And the fastest is the front two. And the side two. To avoid taking out the two. Need a bigger screwdriver. But not quite that big. Guess we need a Phillips number one. Sorry about that, Chief. Does this one fit? That's better. And then this one. Then the back two. One. Two. I <laughs> can't see her on the back of the camera. That's kind of unique, so that the lid's not grounded as much and the signals went up. All right, so we have to be careful because we have a speaker and a tuner on the top. But let's uh, put the light inside. And you guys can see we have, we have a KSB2 and we have a noise blanker and we have 160 meter antenna and we've got the tuner up there. And I don't see any added filters on the front panel. There's nothing there. So I think we got what we paid for and it looks pretty good. So a couple of options we could add. I think I have a, a audio filter for the front. And let me pull up the antenna. When you have that, there's gotta be a header on the front. So let's see if it has that header. It, I don't think it does. So I'll have to come up with, I think it's a three pin header. Although I'm not exactly sure where I'm looking right now. Anyway, it looks like we got 2.03 on the front panel, 1.07 on the KSB2, 1.07 on the KIOC, and noise blanker 102. So I think we're in pretty good shape. 
So I think it might get a, a little bit of an alignment touch up and uh, we'll add that filter and I think that will get, uh, maybe Kurt will be in line to be sold here soon. So thanks for watching. I know I've got too many, but I've got to upgrade to higher serial numbers and get rid of the older ones. So thanks for watching.